Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a cubic equation with complex numbers. This cubic equation is actually very special because I'm pretty sure some of you already guessed the answer but only one of the answers, right? Not all of them. Or did you figure out all of them? Maybe you did, who knows? But anyways, it's kind of easy to guess at least one of the solutions, kind of hard to, um, I mean easy to find if you know what you're dealing with, if you're new to complex numbers, on the other hand, then go ahead and check out my lecture videos. I also have another channel where I do algebra and number theory problems. It's called Cyber Math, Cyber with an S. Okay, not with a C. Great, so let's go ahead and see how we can solve this problem. Z cubed minus Z is 10i. Now, why did I say there is an easy to find solution? Because of the way it is given. We have a multiple of i. So in this problem, you can definitely try something like that. But before that, we're going to do something crazy, which is called the cubic formula. Why? Because it's fun, okay? In one of my videos, in a future video, I'm, I'm thinking about um, talking about the cubic formula in general because we use that a lot, and I'm hoping that it'll be interesting. If you think uh, me doing a video on general cubic formula would be interesting, let me know, let us know in the comment section down below, okay? And also, if you have a different method, let us know in the comment section again. So for my first method, I'm gonna use the cubic formula. Uh, so to use that, I have everything I need. I'm just gonna use an identity, a plus b cubed minus three a b a plus b is given as a cubed plus b cubed. You probably know that, hopefully you know that. And by factoring a plus b, you can get the sum of two cubes formula, but that's a different story. My goal here is not to get that, but more like use the cubic formula. So if I call that z, I can kind of come up with an equation like this. And this equation has a solution, which is given by z equals a plus b, because I know that z equals a plus b is gonna satisfy this equation, right? Isn't that cool? So if you can find a and b, you can find z. But how do you find a and b? That's the million dollar question. And you can do that by, you don't need to spend a million dollars, you just need to watch cyber math or A plus BI, right? You can go ahead and compare these two equations. By comparing these equations, you're able to get the solution in the form of A plus B, where you're gonna be solving for A and B, which is, like I said earlier, is gonna be interesting. So here's how it goes. The coefficient of Z here is negative three AB, but here is negative one. So negative three AB is supposed to equal negative one, which implies that AB must equal one third. And the constant term, a cubed plus b cubed is equal to 10i. By the way, this is kind of contrary to the fact that the channel name, the channel's name is a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers. In this case, they're not real numbers, so a plus bi, forgive me for that. Maybe I should use x and y. But I can't because why not? I could, right? I just missed that opportunity. Anyways, so a b is equal to one third, a cubed plus b cubed is equal to 10i. Can I solve this system? And the answer is yes. It looks cubic, but it's not cubic. It's quadratic because if you cube the first equation, which is the, uh, the first one, I mean, AB equals one third, you get A cubed, B cubed equals one over 27. And then from the second equation, which is this one, you can isolate B cubed as 10I minus A cubed. And now you can take that and substitute here. This is the power of algebra and substitution. You can get a hexic, bihexic equation or maybe by quadratic, or is it tricubic? Anyway, something like that, I don't know. You'll decide. So I'm gonna make the replacement and then solve this. But when you distribute, you get 10 i a cubed minus a to the six equals one over 27. If you put everything on the same side, you get a to the six minus 10 i a cubed plus one over 27 equals zero. Uh-oh, I got a hexic equation, but guess what? You only have a to the sixth and a to the third. So by way of a clever substitution, you can also call that smart, you can get, uh, what is it called? You can get a and b. By the way, a and b are interchangeable because we just designed it in terms of a. Doesn't mean that b is not gonna be a solution. b is also a solution, but let's solve it first. Make the substitution. This is c squared. Again, c is a complex number, 10 i c. Do you see what I see? Equals zero, sorry, it just came up. 
And then we're going to go ahead and solve this quadratic equation. You see, the solution of cubic depends on a quadratic. The solution of a quartic depends on a cubic. The solution of the quintic cannot be done because, unfortunately, there is no formula. There's only a class of solvable quintics, very little. A group, obviously, anything like z to the fifth equals 32 can be solved, but I'm talking about the full uh, quintic. Unfortunately, there is no formula. Some people say, oh, there's a formula, but it's not solvable, radical, so on and so forth. There is no solution for cubic. I mean, for quintic equations, guys, there is no quintic formula, okay? Just accept the fact. It's okay. I know it's sad, but we have to accept it. Anyways, so now let's proceed with the quadratic. That's going to give us negative b plus minus the square root of b squared. 10i squared is negative 100 minus 4ac minus that. That's a negative number, obviously, divided by 2. Now, let's see. That's going to give us negative 2704 divided by 27. I don't think it's going to give us a nice answer, but at least we know that that's going to equal um, a complex or imaginary number because we have a negative number inside the radical. There's going to be some multiple of i, right? Like ki. Maybe this can be simplified. I don't know. I haven't tried 2704. You can hopefully do that because I'm just going to leave it at this point. But this can be written as ki. And then once you get that c equals k, whatever the k is, you can find a and b how. a cubed equals c. So a is going to be the cube root of c. But there's going to be three cube roots. Here's the problem. Um, a complex number has three cube roots, not two. But we do need two cube roots. So which one do you use? Which one you discard? That's for you to decide. Okay? Because I'm going to proceed. I'm impatient. I can't help. I'll proceed with the second solution because I think the second solution is just awesome. Okay? All right, great. Z cubed minus Z equals 10i. Here's one thing. You can guess and check. That's going to give you one solution, right? And then you can use polynomial division or uh, mathematics. I'll show you how. But here's, here's my thinking. Because the right-hand side is imaginary, the left-hand side should also be made up of imaginary pieces. You know what I'm talking about? In other words, I mean, why don't you replace Z with something like Ki? And that implies K cubed I cubed minus Ki equals 10I. In this case, K is going to be real, by the way, so that this becomes imaginary. So let's go ahead and uh, simplify I cubed. That's negative I, negative K cubed minus K. I mean, negative K cubed I, that's what I meant. Negative K cubed I minus Ki equals 10I. And from here, if we factor out i, we're going to have negative k cubed minus k equals 10i. i cancels out. Why did I leave the negative inside? Because I want to stick to it. And I want to put everything on the same side, of course. k cubed plus k plus 10 is equal to 0. Hmm. Here's the million dollar question. Can we find an integer solution or rational solution to this? Well, if there's a rational solution, it has to be an integer, right? So let's try factors of 10. How about 1? It doesn't work. How about negative 1? It doesn't work. How about 2? It doesn't work. Notice k needs to be negative. So the only option left is negative 2 and negative 5. Hmm. Negative 5 is too large. Negative 2 is pro I mean, negative 2 too large. You know what I'm talking about. So why don't we try negative 2? Negative 2 cubed plus negative 2 plus 10. Negative 8 minus 2 plus 10 is 0. Yeah, bingo. We got a solution. Beautiful. k equals negative 2 works, which means which means z is equal to, what's z? ki. z is equal to negative 2i. Beautiful. Now, since negative 2i is a solution, do you think that 2i will also be a solution because that's the complex conjugate? No, that's only true for polynomial equations with real coefficients. But in this case, we have complex non-real coefficients. I'm talking about 10i, right? So how do we arrange this so that we can reflect the fact that z equals negative 2i is a solution? That's a good question. And here's what you can do. If you thought about why this came about, if you think about it like, okay, negative 2i cubed minus negative 2i is equal to 10i because this is negative 8i, I mean positive 8i plus 2i is equal to 10i. You get the idea? So we can kind of reflect the following. Maybe if z equals negative 2i, z squared is going to be negative 4. So maybe I can take out a... Hmm, I'm not sure that if that's going to work, but let me try. z cubed 
plus 4z. That gives me a z squared plus 4, right? Yeah. And then minus 5z is equal to 10i. Okay, let's give it a try. I have a feeling this is going to work, but I'm not 100% sure. Try it for the first time. And then z factor out z squared plus 4 minus 5 factor out z plus 2i. Yay, I got z plus 2i, which means negative 2i is going to be a solution for part of the equation and for this one too. Yes. Now we can factor this as z plus 2i, z minus 2i. And I'm pretty sure there is an easy way to do it, but I usually like to take the hard way. And now z plus 2i is going to be a common factor. The rest is going to be z squared minus 2zi or 2iz. That's probably better. 2iz. I distribute this over that basically because I factored this one out and this one out. Minus 5. Because you see, that's the challenge because the second equation also has imaginary coefficients. But quadratic formula will take care of that. Z equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 4 minus 4ac minus 20. That's going to be a 16 divided by 2. That's going to be a 4. 2i plus minus 4 divided by 2 or plus minus 4 plus 2i divided by 2. So the solutions are z equals negative 2i. 2 plus 2i, negative 2, I mean plus i. That's what I meant. The i, the 2 cancels out. So those are the three solutions. Do you think rule form alpha can solve this problem? Oops, I forgot to include the solution. Sorry about that. Sometimes I forget. But this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.